Welcome back to HomeKit 5. I'm Josh. I'm Braden. This week we're going to talk about hoops and Arlo. Yep. A little bit of a light news week. I feel like we had to actually go a little dumpster diving to find some <laughs> older stuff that we had missed covering before. Mm -hmm. uh, so not all of this news is like fresh this week necessarily. Uh, first up is Hoobs. Uh, so if you haven't heard of it, it is HomeKit or HomeBridge out of the box uh, support, I guess. I don't know what yeah, that S yeah. stands for in Hoobs. Um, but essentially, it, it's like a prepackaged version of HomeBridge, and it's got its own user interface because HomeBridge didn't come with one out mm -hmm. of the box initially. So anyway, they've released version 4. You can, uh, you can get a pre-built Pi with the image on it if you want. You can download an image and put it on a Pi yourself. Mm -hmm. um, but it looks like they've gotten some uh, interesting updates here so they've gotten some performance upgrades so they've uh, reduced memory usage and the speed at which the ui can respond they've increased that uh, they've kind of changed how backups work you can also have encrypted backups if you want so that's kind of cool mm -hmm. um man there's a lot in here plugin new plugin library uh, they re redesigned that whole page, um, and it's it's looking pretty good. Like I'm looking at the the screenshots here. I like how it looks. Mm -hmm. uh, there was one thing in here: shareable bridges. Uh, so you can share. You can now export every individual bridge with all its plugins and configurations from the bridge page, uh, and then that can be used to m mirror migrate your bridges to another Hoobs device. Mm. Uh, or share a particular setup or configuration with the community and developers. So that's kind of cool. They've also been working to certify more plugins, um, which is just to say that they test them and make sure that they're well written mm -hmm. uh, and work well. Uh, one plugin per bridge. When installing a plugin, you have the option to spawn a new bridge or add it to an existing bridge. Running a single plugin per bridge ensures stability for all accessories in case a plugin misbehaves. That's kind of nice. Yeah. That was maybe one of my biggest gripes about this is like we would have a problem. Like let's say uh, we were using a, a Denon plugin to get our receiver to be exposed correctly. Uh, but then like it, it would break and then like the MyQ garage package didn't work. So it's like... That seems to be aimed at solving that particular problem. Yeah. Uh, looks like they updated the uh, logging so you can filter that easily. They have dashboard widgets now. You can now see the cameras live in Homebridge, which is kind of nice. Uh, I wonder if that's just the cameras you're adding from Homebridge or if you can see the HomeKit side as well. Hmm. <laughs> Definitely seems worth updating. Um, mm -hmm. If you haven't already, this this came out. It looks like July was when they recorded and posted the video on YouTube uh, talking about what was new. So seems like it's it's been out for over a month now. So hopefully any any patches or buggy issues have been uh, taken care of. So if you're looking to get upgraded, it seems like it's it's worth taking a dive into for sure. Yeah. All right, Arlo. Um, we talked about this. When was that? That was a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, they had a HomeKit outage where it, you could not add anything. As of August 9th, um, they have released a software update to its iOS app that fixes the HomeKit issue. So, uh, version 3.5.1 mm -hmm. has fixed the issue now everybody should be able to add their Arlo stuff back to HomeKit. Yeah. And you can, if if you're not aware, you can go into the App Store and go to the Updates tab, I believe, and then mm -hmm. you can find that app and uh, force an upgrade if you need to. Mm -hmm. uh, so that way you're able to add HomeKit devices again. I'm glad to see that they addressed it. Um, let's see, the story... It doesn't have a date on uh, the initial August 9th. story. That's when it was updated. No, no, no. The oh, the initial story. Yeah. Mm. Hmm. Yeah. We'll have to see when we posted about it because I think it was only a couple of days old when we posted about it. Uh, 
but it, it's definitely really good to see that they're addressing these concerns. You know, again, I, I, I don't think Arlo's like high on my list because you got to pay for the subscription service. And I don't know. I feel like if you're, bu <clears throat> excuse me, buying camera equipment, like if there's a way to like locally, I, I just don't like sending video to the cloud necessarily. We're, we're actually working on a project uh, to maybe keep our cameras streaming here um, <clears throat> on premise rather than going to the cloud. August 6th was uh, oh, the okay. initial story. Okay, nice. So like three days after? Good find, yeah. That was a fast, pretty fast response. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it definitely still feels frustrating to like buy hardware and like own hardware and like not have it working mm -hmm. i do get that but at the same time like they they did turn it around pretty quick uh and you know honestly this is one of those things that i think like matter would take care of because you wouldn't necessarily have to go through you might have to go through a matter uh certification service or uh process but once you're certified like you're good to go right so mm -hmm. you you wouldn't have to wait to be apple certified my guess is you know they they got these devices out there and did the certification after the fact with apple and that's why like their software is making the call and getting a code on the fly rather than like attaching uh the the home kit code directly to the device yeah so, yeah i don't know it's interesting I'm glad to see they updated it. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as what we're doing and what we're working on, uh, you can see if you're watching the video, you can see we now have two iPad Pros here. Uh, one of them, we upgraded Brayden so that he can start helping with the video editing duty. Um, we were using an editor before for some of the videos. We switched a couple like couple months back, but. Finding that workflow is not working super great for me, so we're, we're trying uh, to mix up the workflow and see if Braden can help out with the video editing duties. Mm -hmm. um, we still have like an Eve door and window sensor to get out. We have like Nano Leaf Shapes video that we did that we need to put out. Um, gosh, we've got a lot now. We got I'm a lot of about it. Uh, projects, yeah. Yeah, we've recorded like all the video for a number of things we did uh we've got an onvis k1 uh that was a fun project uh, that we need to get edited and then we're still in the process of shooting but uh we've got like an ambilight back of light tv thing that we're going to do through homebridge using hyperion so that's been a long long project for us uh but we got it all functional and we're trying to get all the video put together for that and uh, this weekend we also started a project for like a Raspberry Pi blade server cluster thing mm -hmm. that's been kind of fun and frustrating. So we're working through that one. Uh, I don't know. Like, let us know in the comments below. Would that be interesting for you guys to see? Like, we've taken some video of it. We were thinking about putting it on a more of a programming channel to talk about like setting up your own cloud cluster. Uh, for the house, I don't know. Let us know if you're interested in that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching, listening, uh, tuning in. As always, uh, hopefully we'll hear more more HomeKit news next week. I know we are definitely approaching uh, a September launch of new stuff. And uh, yeah, I guess, oh, another interesting thing is too, like we're thinking about comparing this is the m1 ipad pro and that's uh the you know the older one if you want to see us do like a setup and comparison video we could even show a little bit of like how ipad and uh home app work together if you're interested in that let us know in the comments below and uh, as always give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you're listening uh tuning in from podcast be sure to hit that subscribe somewhere and if you are and you're on an apple device be sure to open the podcast app and uh, leave us one of those uh, reviews, five stars preferred, for sure. Um, always appreciate it. We're trying to get this thing to grow. And uh, we appreciate you tuning in. See you next time. <laughs>